Namaste. If enlightenment would depend on doing, then it would be a limited event, a limited stage, because when we are active and through activity reach something, this implies some doing from our side and that would mean when we reached and our aim we reached something which was not here before that would indicate that this what you call enlightenment is a state which is starting and which is starting at a later later time that what I point at is not what is to be achieved to a later point but what is already here our true nature underlying all sensation all notion and all manifestation This state, which I just referred to, is called Sahaja Samadhi, and Samadhi is uh, often translated as enlightenment. But here we speak about Sahaj, which means natural. So that mm, beingness, which is natural, always here well certainly certainly the biggest obstacle is the belief that there are obstacles it's a kind of a misbelief that we are not free that we are not realized that we are not divine so this is a limited concept which is ruling us then furthermore of course the attachment to body and attachment to mind that means the belief to be this body which is in time and therefore not eternal and also to be this person which is somehow created out of our mental concepts mental programs mental beliefs so first this this identification uh, has to has to happen one has to realize who am i really once we this firm conviction understand that we are not a body that we are also not this person then all these obstacles are gone First of all, we all have to accept that this body is not governed by our own will. So the body is moved like even the planets are moved in the, in the universe by a supreme power, the power which I call life force. So once we... Uh, adhere to this life force and adore this life force already this mm, firm grip I am myself the doer melts away there is a supreme supreme power moving 
this body even so who is that and that power is in you is also in me is in everybody if you realize that then surrender happens we realize actually nothing is in my control I can of course achieve I can learn I can do and all this bears to a certain extent a result but there is no guarantee for anything so we can surrender to the life force second of course next to surrender surrender to divine the unique tool the most effective tool is atma vichara atma vichara means self inquiry somehow using our intellect to uh, look for the very source of this I experience the I sought where does the I arise because when we inquire then we see that even not only our thoughts come and go the feelings come and go but even this I appears somehow it appears every day isn't it when you wake up from the sleep state then suddenly I arise so where where does it arise or whence does it arise so when you somehow put your consciousness this consciousness the only reality which is actually available to us if you put it on consciousness itself this can become clear somehow on that we are unlimited consciousness itself and not defined not limited by our I experience absolutely absolutely it is grace if we are attracted by a guru by a master who can with authority show us who we are shows me who I am so this is my personal experience that this was tremendously helpful even though there have been spiritual realizations before but this ultimate ultimate clarification who I am uh, became clear through the grace of the Guru and even a great saint maybe the greatest saint of the last century like Ramana Mahashi the Guru of my Guru who woke up in a young age young age without a direct guidance of guru even he says that this guru is absolutely necessary and he uh, found uh, this guru was attracted by this manifestation of Shiva in form of a mountain which was his guru <laughs> the Sadhguru does not claim so the Sadhguru doesn't claim I am the doer he is one with the with truth he is one with the divine uh, 
and therefore a lot of beneficial realities can somehow open up through through him through the Sadhguru but he's not saying I am doing this so first of all when there are devotees it's first of all uh, advisable and good if they themselves live peace and live in peace because whenever there's a community whenever there's an amount of people there are certain challenges there mm -hmm. so before we claim that we mm, keep the world in balance let's uh, live in balance ourselves nevertheless one can state that this tremendous power tremendous power of a being who is in peace and has realized is of immeasurable benefit for humanity wishing you well wishing all the people who see this well and peace may there be peace with you all tat sat